Hey, Trace, how's it going? We're just gonna wait a couple seconds till everybody gets in here, and then we will uh, start with the opening. But how's everybody been for everybody that has uh, hopped in here? Hopefully everybody's day has been going good. And uh, hopefully we can manage to get something good out of the box. Excited to see what we could get. Hey Red, how's it going dude? Hey Alex, hey Ryan, hey uh, Bosco, how's it going? You got your first great one, nice dude, that's awesome man. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's been going good, Cannon. It's been going good. Had a pretty good stream earlier. Got a uh, diamond white tail and a uh, albino white tail on our great one grind. Now we're about to open a uh, pretty cool trainer box. So having a pretty great day. I think YouTube has been having some issues with uh, sending out notifications today because I've noticed that uh, it's taking a little bit longer for uh, the uh, usual people to join back into the stream. So we're going to wait a couple minutes before we actually start opening because uh, YouTube's been acting weird with the notifications today. It seems like it's taken YouTube forever to get their notifications out, which is unfortunate. Hey, Zach, how's it going, dude? How's it going? Oh, you messed it up. That's unfortunate, dude. I'm so sorry to hear that. It happens to the best of us, though. I've messed up some trophies that I didn't want to mess up as well. Hey, SK, how's it going, man? Everything's been going pretty good for me. We're just about to uh, crack into this trainer box. See if we can get any good pulls now. I was thinking about saving this one back, but um, unfortunately when I bought it, there was a rip in the corner, so it's not really worth much as like a holding back as a, I guess, a collector's item, so I'm just going to open it up for you guys. I think it's a relatively cheap set to buy anyway, at least this box is. So we're going to crack that open, but... We're going to wait a couple more minutes for those that just joined in. I'm waiting for uh, everybody to join in since YouTube has been weird with the um, notifications. So just a couple more seconds and we'll crack into this. What's my rarest Pokemon? Just started getting into it. I think the rarest one that I ever pulled was actually one that we got a couple weeks ago. We were opening a Brilliant Stars booster box and we got the Charizard V alternate artwork, which I believe is the top card in that set right now. The notification just got sent out. Wow. YouTube is slacking today. Well, I suppose let's uh, start cracking in because everybody should start joining now that the notification has been set out. So let's go ahead and bust into this. I'm excited. I haven't really opened a ton of Sword and Shield base. I've opened like maybe five packs in total from just random boxes. So, uh, let's see how this goes. I always love the trainer boxes. They're really cool. A lot of cool stuff in them. Yeah, YouTube's been slacking today. All right, so let's get this open right here. There is the, like, I guess, like, covering of the box. Then we got the, uh... Player's Guide right here, which tells you, like, uh, the entire set along with, like, some rules of the game. Cool little booklet. So, it looks, like, it looks like there's actually a lot of cool cards that we could potentially get out of here. Lots of rainbow cards. Ooh, I'd love to get that Lapras. If we can get that Lapras, that would be amazing. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Wow. I like the way this box is done. That looks really nice. What made me start getting into Pokemon? Not gonna lie, it was the artwork of the cards. The way the cards looked is what got me into it. And then that kind of got me into everything else relating to Pokemon. Alright, let's pull these packs out. So these should all be Sword and Shield base. Hey Ryan, how's it going dude? All right, let's get these out. So this is like uh, the little dice, which are basically damage counters for the uh, game. 
And then these are the status effect markers. And then I believe this should be a stack of energy cards. Yep, this is our stack of energy cards. We'll probably leave that sealed. Let's actually just pull this out here. Uh, the lag's probably on your end, Carter. My, uh, my side's looking fine. There is the uh, code card for those of you that want to redeem this on the game. And then we got some dividers here, which actually look pretty nice. This is to uh, divide your cards in uh, storage. And then right here is some deck sleeves. Now these are some pretty nice looking sleeves. I really like these. They look really nice. Hey Liam, how's it going man? But that should be everything in there. Let's put this to the side. We shall put uh, all the deck sleeves and stuff like that in here. And then we will start cracking into these packs. Hey rest man, how's it going dude? How is it going, man? So, this is what we got for us today. We got ourselves eight sword and shield base set packs. So let's uh, move these over here. Let's get the camera down a little bit lower so we can start opening these up. Make sure everything is properly focused. There, that's looking good. That is looking pretty good. Let's, uh, ooh, definitely not. Okay, crank that exposure back down. And we're just gonna have to go with that. Maybe we can adjust the brightness slightly. Nah, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get, unfortunately. Let's, uh, break this open. I think these... I can't remember, was it still VMAXs or was this back in the GX days? I think this was still... I think this was the beginning of VMAX, wasn't it? Because I guess every set is something new. So since this would be the first, uh, Sword and Shield set, I think it would be, right? Uh, okay, so the cards are that way. Should be one, two, three, four to the front. There is the Fire Energy, Citrus Berry, Willfish, Switch Energy Switch, Minchino, uh, Chin Chow, Crow Gunk, Meowth, Score Bunny. We got a Doug Trio Reverse and a Lapras Non Hollow to start things out. Unfortunately, not a crazy start, but hopefully it will uh, only go up from there. And yes, this is one of my hunting shirts that I'm using to. Uh, Open these on But there we go with pack number two What's my favorite card that I've ever pulled? Um, I don't know what my favorite would be. I Mean, I think it's got to be that Charizard V alt art that we pulled a couple weeks ago That's got to be my favorite just because It's the first ch like big Charizard card that I ever pulled There's our fighting energy potion Hitmonchan, uh, Lanoon, Galarian Lanoon, Pharisee, Gossifleur, oh, uh, oh, I see the border of something good, Zigzagoon, Krabby, Silicobra, we got Galarian Stunfisk, is this gonna be it? Ooh, more Peko VMAX. Not a bad start. That's pack number two, and it's our first VMAX card. Pretty nice looking. I like that. Uh, let's grab the sleeves wherever I put them. There they are. There we go, our more, more Peko VMAX. Not a bad start, pack number two. Yeah, Lapras is a cool Pokemon. I do like Lapras. Lapras is pretty cool indeed. Now let's get into pack number three. Another Lapras pack. Can it uh, give us the Lapras card? Uh, these packs don't necessarily like to open that way quite as much as some of the 
other ones do. Yeah, Johnny. How did your buffalo hunt go anyway? One, two, three, four. We've got the lightning energy, the crushing hammer, switch, ferrothorn, wooloo, shelter, minchino, silicobra, progunk, the rotom bike, and a sandaconda hollow. Not too bad. We got a hollow out of it at least. So we are two for three on the hits. Um, one for three on the major hits. Now we get into pack number four. Let's hope this will be the one. What's my favorite Pokemon? Uh, definitely Eevee. I love Eevee. Eevee's gotta be my favorite. Although, I, I do like um, Tyranitar as well. And there's actually a lot of ones that I like. It's kind of hard to think of, like, my favorites. Obviously, I like Charizard. Um, uh, Grass Energy, Switch, Energy Retrieval, Heatmore, Chinchow, Rabby, Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Silicobra, a Pokey Kid Reverse, and we got a Zamazenta V. Not bad. I think we actually pulled this yesterday in one of the packs as well. So this is the second Zamazenta V we've got. We got one yesterday, and now we got one today. I mean, I don't mind getting doubles if it's going to be like at least a V or higher. There it is. Looking stunning. At least it's a really good looking duplicate, you know? It may have been one that we uh, pulled yesterday, but at least it's a, a good looking card. I'm 23, Tucker. All right, this is pack number five. We have just passed the halfway mark, and this one's going to be stubborn. There we go. Yeah, Empoleon's cool. Empoleon is pretty cool. Those Empoleon tins have been pretty good to me. That's actually what we opened up yesterday that gave us a, a crazy card. We ended up getting the uh, Tyran the Sleepy Tyranitar Full Art card. I forgot what set it was from. Uh, Fire Energy, Dubwool, Doug Trio, Switch, Vulpix, Mana, Rosalie, Choodle, Blipbug, Mawile, and... A Drapion non hollow. Hey, Damien, how's it going, dude? Yeah, Bulbasaur's cool, too. I like a lot of the starter Pokemon. How you liking the Albino Rocky? I am happy that we got that thing finally. Like, it's nice to have that grind over. Oh, almost forgot. One, two, three, four. Got a fighting energy and a fighting Pokemon. Hitmonchan, Great Ball, uh, Galarian Lanoon, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Lobopus, Goldeen, Ponard, Scorbunny, Reverse, and a Dreadnaw, Non Hollow. Unfortunate. How did I get into Pokemon? Uh, believe it or not, it was because I, I saw some of the videos of cards being opened and I was like, man, some of those cards look absolutely amazing. I'd like to have some of those and that's kind of what got me into collecting. We have two packs left, by the way, guys. Only two packs left. Debating on if we should open something else to kind of round this out. We'll see. Yes, Caitlin, another one. Another one. Let's see. We have two packs left. Can we pull something crazy? One, two, three, four. 
AEH19, how's it going? Uh, we got a Zamazenta V and then a Morpeko VMAX. These are the only hits that we've got so far. Out of six packs, these are the two good ones that we got. So now it's time to try these last two packs. Can we get something good? Fire Energy, Bisharp, Salazzle, Doug Trio, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalie, Pharaoh Seed, Gossifleur. We got a Turdinator Reverse and a Lapras V. That's one of the cards I actually wanted. It's not the exact Lapras that I was looking at, but that's nice. Honestly, I'll take any Lapras. I like Lapras. That's a nice card to get. Beautiful. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. So, so far, out of seven packs, we've had three hits. Nice little lineup of cards, but can this last pack pull through for us? Maybe. I, I hope. And like I was saying, if I can find something else, we might open up a few more things. I just got to go see what cards I have left that are unopened and see if there's any that I want to open up today. Because uh, there's a few that I'd like to save for their own, like, uh, opening streams. So this is the last pack of the Sword and Shield Trainer Box. Got a Pseudo Wudo. We've got a Hop. We've got a Dotler. We've got a Wolu. We've got a Grookey. We've got a Sobble. We've got a Rhyhorn. We've got a Rosalie. Rosalia, Rosalie. We got a Rhyhorn. And. Ah, Bolt and Hollow. I mean, it could have been worse. I'll take it. Bolton's cool, at least. So we got two hollows, two Vs, and a VMAX. Honestly, for a trainer box, that's not bad. They tend to be pretty random with their pull rates. So I'll take that. That's not bad at all. Uh, the Morpeko VMAX is probably our best card. Lapras might be second in the Zamazenta, I would imagine. All right, let me look at the other cards that I've got. We might do a little bit more. Just give me two seconds, guys. I'll see if there's anything else we could open. Another one. Uh, these have been good to us, so why not? L let's open the last Empoleon tin that I have. They're they're pretty cheap, so I can always get some more if I want to keep one in my collection. Uh, they're 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 still in print, I think, too. I'm pretty sure they're still making them. So we'll we'll do it. We'll open up the last Empoleon V tin that I have. I would zoom out to, to show it off, but I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you have already seen me open them before, so let's just crack into it. So these are pretty cool. They're only like 20 bucks, right? You get the cool Empoleon uh, promo card, which is right there. And then you also get five packs, which is not bad. You get a Sword and Shield base set. You get a Darkness Ablaze, a Vivid Voltage, and two Battle Styles, which is not bad. Like, it's decent pack selection. And if you're lucky and you find one of the earlier printed uh, ones, you can get Celestial Storm. And I actually figured out how you figure out which ones have Celestial Storm. When you're opening them up, like this plastic that is covering them, if it doesn't have any dotted lines for ripping, then it's one of the newer ones that has Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Blaze, and Sword and Shield. If it has the dotted lines to like easily tear 
That way you can open it uh, without having to just slide it off. Then it's got Celestial Storm in it. So I'm going to try and pick up a couple of the ones that have Celestial Storm. And we'll open those at some point too because those are crazy good. Hey, bro, bro, you made it to one year. Holy. He's got the gold badge now. All right, well, anyway, let's do this battle style. Actually, no, let's start out with the sword and shield since that's what we've been doing. We'll do the battle styles last. We'll start out with this sword and shield since that's what we've been opening. Hey, Nelmania, we got a Morpeko VMAX, a Lapras V, and a Zamazenta V out of the uh, trainer box. Uh, but since it went by pretty quick, we're going to open up a tin as well. So we're opening up another Empoleon tin because these have been so good to us. We've been getting some crazy good pulls out of the Empoleon tins, so we're going to open up the last one that I have. If this pack would let me open it. Oh, looked at the code card. Well, we know it's a hit. Which, uh, that's, that's good. It's a good sign. Got the Grass Energy. Team Yell Grunt. Energy Search. Pokey Kid. Lobapus, Rhyhorn, Blipbug, Choodle, Rosalia, Stonejourner, and... Ah, it is a hollow Cinderace. Just a hollow, unfortunately, but still a hit nonetheless. Now on to this Darkness Ablaze pack. Let's crack this bad boy open. Ooh, that opens so easily. I forgot how easy the Darkness of Blaze open. Like, it always surprises me. It always surprises me because I'm not used to it. Like, all the last few sets, they take a little bit more to open. We got the uh, Darkness Energy. We got Heat Energy, Relicanth, Zwellis, Meltan. Marini, Purloin, Starly, Aeron, Pupitar, and a Centiscorch V. Nice. Pretty cool looking card. I like that. Good old Centiscorch. There we go. Uh, this is all that you have missed so far, uh, Brobra, is these three cards here. Zamazenta V, Lapras V, and Morpeko V Max. And now we just got the Scorch. Uh, it really depends, Giant Carlo. There's a lot of things that factor into whether or not it's rare. Uh, what set was it from? Is it a base card? Or, or not base, is it a common? Or is it... An uncommon, rare, hollow, reverse hollow. Um, like, there's a lot of things that come into play, but here is a uh, vivid voltage. One, two, three, four. We got our energy card. We got telescopic sight. Ferrothorn, Go Goat, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, Milsery, Wooper, Extra Drill Reverse, and Crocodile, Non Hollow. Nice, bro, bro. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Uh, me and my wife actually watched a couple episodes of Pokemon last night as well. All right. The last two packs of the stream, guys. We got two battle styles to end it off with, and this one stuck like crazy. Yeah, this one's... Oh, gosh. Why was that bottom part so stuck? One, two, three, four. We got our darkness energy, or... Is that what it is? Our dark energy, that's that's what I mean. Why did I say darkness? Cacturn, 
Rapid Strike Energy, EXP Share, Spoink, Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Lickitung, a Salandite, or Salandit, Reverse, and a Steelix Hollow. Kind of a cool hollow to get, not gonna lie. I like Steelix. Steelix is cool. The last one. Can we come through clutch with the last pack? Unfortunately, this tin is letting us down a little bit. It hasn't been anything crazy. We have the scent to Scorch V, but that's been it out of four packs so far. We got the Grass Energy, Bufalent, Grumpig, Energy Recycler, Glameow, Corfish, Scatterbug, Cubone, Murkrow, an Aegislash Reverse, and... Oh, Vivillion Non-Hollow, Vivillon, Ooh. Oh, that one hurts. That hurts. Out of that whole tin, we got one decent card. Well, guys, out of uh, a total of 13 packs, these are the hits we got. Not terrible, but not great. Not too bad. Yeah, Lapras is nice. That Lapras card is pretty good. I don't know the values of any of these. I'm assuming they're nothing insane. These don't seem like cards that would be worth too much. So unfortunately, this wasn't as crazy as yesterday's opening was. I mean, yesterday we pulled that crazy uh, Sleepy Tyranitar card, the uh, full art, which was crazy. So yeah, it, it was one of those things where it was going to be hard to top yesterday's. But we got a few decent cards. I'll take it, you know. And we got the cool trainer box. I really like the way this trainer box is done. Uh, we'll show it again for those that didn't see it. But this trainer box is cool. There we go. Like, I really like the way this box looks. This thing is really nice. And then inside you've got like all the uh, deck sleeves, dividers, the energy cards, and the uh, like dice, and the status markers. It's a cool box. I really like it. Oh, you did, bro, bro? Nice, dude. Yeah, I was going to keep this one sealed, but it had a rip already, so I was like, okay, we'll open this one up. And then I've also got a, that Brilliant Stars Elite trainer box that I might open in the future, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll be doing some more of these uh, next time we hit the uh, donation threshold, as always. Basically, the way we do it is every time we hit, like, another $300 of donations from the streams, then we do another stream like this where I open up some cards for you guys to watch. It's kind of a way to introduce some more content in here. And I guess to have kind of, like, a goal for the donations instead of it just being, uh, without any type of goal, I guess. And I'm thinking about eventually doing, uh, some giveaways for, like, DLC codes for Call of the Wild as, uh donation goals as well that way I can kind of give back to you guys as well I gotta figure out how to do that because there's not really codes unfortunately for console so it'd pretty much only be PC giveaways for like game codes sadly I could probably figure out a way to do it though I'd have to really dig though 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!